Okay, you just saw the title and you're probably thinking, why would you ever want to build Charlotte as a DPS? Well, let me propose this hypothetical situation to you. You see a small pink head girl running up to you in the distance. She waves and explains that she's a reporter and she would love to run an article about you and asks if she can take a picture. You sheepishly agree, get into position to pose. She smiles back, her shutter clicks and suddenly you violently explode. No, this is not the plot to a new isekai anime. This is now your reality if you build DPS Charlotte. So here we go. Welcome bullies, today I'm going to be raising my Charlotte, but we're going to be doing things a little bit differently here. And who knows, if enough people like these off meta build videos, I might make it a series as well. But today we're going to be dumping some resin into Charlotte, maxing out her weapon, talent, ascension, artifacts, and testing them out, just in a little different kind of way. Anyways, I'm not here to stall, so let's just jump into it and level her up. Uh, welcome bullies, I currently am in a view as well, trying to grab a couple of these conches. I've realized I don't have enough of my world, so we're just gonna quickly montage this before we start my video. Holy f- Help me, I'm underwater. Welcome back, bullies. Uh, let's just pretend nothing happened and um, I was always here on dry land and did not spend 20 minutes becoming a diver. Anyways, whoa, where did all these come from? This is not enough to finish her off, but um, it's a start. We'll get some more in the video. Okay, I'll show off the stuff I have farmed. So weapon wise, <clears throat> the man has a lot of books. Okay, it might not look like he has a lot of books, but I'll have you know that this single book is worth 500 USD. <laughs> I can't move on. Okay, I have trauma, but we do have some book options, which is really good. I think I'm actually going to go with this one because of the elemental damage, but we'll see. Some of the four stars might be okay too, but look, we're trying to build her DPS. I'm not going to cut corners. In terms of constellations, I failed to pull a single extra copy, so we don't get any of these. You see all this AOE cryo damage. You see this increasing her talent level. You see more damage here, more attack. Yeah, I don't get any of this. More attack. Oh, cool. Cool. As for her talents, I have farmed the materials for it, I think. This burst from what I understand, it heals people and does a little bit of damage. The E, you take a picture and I'm not 100% sure how it works, but does some damage. This one, this is why I'm here. This is why we're building her DPS, okay? So I can do this extremely cute animation where she takes pictures of people and they explode. And her animation is kind of slow, I'm not going to lie, but this is just adorable. Oh. I'm not going to be the most optimal in terms of DPS, but who cares? I can just do this. So that means we still have a couple more things to farm. So her boss materials, I don't have exactly enough to take her up to final ascension. I also don't have all of these barrel conches and I don't support the slaughter of robots. But for this video, I will. So we need to go farm some more of the robots as well. As for artifacts, it really depends which type of DPS Charlotte you will be building. Yes, you, because I know you're going to be so inspired after this video that you're going to just take off and I'm sure you're going to build your own. <laughs> no, who am I kidding? I'm the only one doing this. You probably shouldn't do this. It's not a great use of materials. Anyways, there is a couple sets that I've been thinking about. One is Shimanawa's, which gives us normal attack damage increase by 50%. I feel like that is pretty damn good, especially because I don't think I'm using the burst to heal. And the E kind of is okay, but I don't think it's the main thing we're going to be using. I think I'm just going to take cute pictures. We also have Wanderer's Troop, which I feel like could be really, really crazy, especially if I just only focus on the charge attack because the EM plus the charge attack sounds like big melt combination. Whereas the Shimanawa's, I can kind of use on mono cryo or other kind of comps, maybe even just an auto attack comp. The one that I don't really have a lot of. I literally have none. We're going to have to take a little stroll. Wait, I'm lost. Hello? When mom leaves you in the supermarket and you go, hello? Where am I? Okay. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Mr. Editor, you're, you're not going to leave that in the video, are you? Oh, <laughs> This set right here, Retracing Bowline, I think it debated a lot of people in the start because they thought that it made all shields stronger, especially if you're off field. And people farmed it only for what? DPS Ningguang maybe? And that was it. So <laughs> it's come back and it actually can be kind of useful here. So if I do end up running like a Zhongli Yunjin comp, I'm going to always have a shield. The Geo is going to give me the resonance and I'm going to have 40% additional damage on my normal and charged attack. This could be a good option too. The only thing is I don't have any of them so we probably would need to do a little bit of a strong box a scamming you know we'll see how that goes but we've got a bunch of different options first things first she does need to get leveled up let's start ascending her and then I'm gonna grab the rest of the materials I'm very curious what she's gonna talk about place your bets in the comments right now my money is on some form of reporting about us or she wants to take a picture of us is that fine 
5 EXP. You know what? We can get her 5 EXP. Farming team wise, I kind of like this, I guess. Also, um, I have just put out the Farina video, so you know what time it is for me right now. Immediately, some of the comments are like, I don't like how he talks to Farina. It's so rude. No Xbox for a week. You're grounded. Look, I didn't know. I didn't know. I may have spent eight hours streaming her whole lore. Twitch.tv slash in vain, by the way. Twitch.tv slash in vain. Yeah, I, I didn't know. And now I am an emotional wreck, okay? You can't blame me. He didn't know. It was like three hours after I pulled her. I'm dying. Surely that gave her enough EXP. Okay, got anything to say? What a strange and wonderful feeling. Uh huh. I've got to write this down for my records. Well, if you guessed her putting it in her diary or her records, 10 points to Gryffindor. If you didn't, you're an idiot and you're with me. <laughs> okay, let's keep ascending her then. I feel like these two robots are literally just here taking care of a garden. Anyways, what I meant to say was they were here taking care of a garden. No longer the case. I'm unsure why though. Oh no, my arch nemesis 45 degree angle upwards. Yo, you guys can get them. You guys can definitely get them. Look at that power creep. I don't even have to climb up to attack them. Wait, can you get that one? That one feels like a bit high. This might be a great time to find out what Charlotte does. So I know tapping this does like immediate damage, but what is holding it? Dude, it, I tried it once. It feels like I just take a picture, but that's a lot of text for just taking a picture. Popping Monsieur Verit. Verit? How do you pronounce his, his name? Monsieur Verite. So, Monsieur Verite. The viewfinder will expand as you hold until you reach a finish or frame state. In this state, Charlotte can move and change direction. When the whole state ends, Monsieur Verite will deal cryo damage to all the opponents within the viewfinder and apply the same snappy silhouette as tap mode. What does snappy silhouette do? Cryo damage? Oh. So it's like a dot. It does initial damage and it puts like a damage over time mode on them. Okay. So this stuff really does boost people's strength, huh? Mm hmm. I thought it was all rumors, but now here I am experiencing Steroids. it for myself. They do crazy stuff. Human growth hormone? Okay, and, and, and never mind, never mind, never mind. Don't, what I meant to say is uh, these uh, heroes woods, man, they're, they're crazy. What do they put in them? Let's do a little damage test. How much? 24 damage. Oh my God. Charged attack is 49. This, this is such a cool animation. I love that. She might do the, the worst damage I've ever seen in my life right now. And she might not even be that good at the end. 69 damage. Okay, well, the video is going to end here. We, we can't change her. This is perfection. Uh, so thank you for watching everyone. No, no, we, we will level her up. Unfortunately, we found the best number and we have to let it go. Sometimes the best things in life, you know, you have to learn to let it go. There it is again. That's probably the last time we're going to see it. So savor it. No dialogue. Cute animation though. I wonder what she's reading. Is there any text on that? Someone want to freeze that one image. Zoom in and enhance. Level 59. Okay. Charlotte is now level 60. And we run into our first problem. We gotta go craft some more gems. So let's go do that. So we wanted a bunch of cryo gems. There's like no new cryo characters coming out, right? Do I need to be scared? I'm sure we'll be fine. What are you gonna say? Have you done this for other people in the past too? Were the materials uh, you use different? And if so, how? Uh, also, I'm uh, wondering. Uh, she knows sorry. too much. Force of habit. She knows too much. I'm sorry, but we have to shut her down. Miss, if you would uh, like to follow me to this, to the backyard, we have a special interview. It's uh, yeah, the, the one next to the cliff. Yeah, 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 that one. <clears throat> and I lied when I said we would never see 69 again. Here it is. Okay, so final essential, we're missing a couple things. We're missing five boss runs, some gears, six of these, and 35 of the conches. We better get to work. First things first, the boss is on a cooldown, so let's start with that. Wait, it says all my commissions are done, but I didn't do any. Hello? Oh, it's because I joined a viewer's world and they did their commissions while I was in it. Wait, does that mean I don't get primo gems? What? You've already claimed the maximum number of commissions? What? Wait, did I get the primos or not? Did the game just scam me? One second, please. I just, uh, I need to check this for myself. I feel like I got scammed. Where are my primos? Okay, well, it is what it is, I guess. No primos for me. But anyways, we were fighting the boss. Also, since that video, I feel like I've noticed how much extra damage Farina does. At the time, I guess, I don't know. I was just so fixated on her personal damage, but I actually feel like she does a good amount for the whole team. It essentially means that um everyone on your team can now run this set and always have its max benefit at all times. So essentially everyone on your team just will get 36% crit rate for free, which is pretty insane if you think about it. All right, if we're lucky enough, we only need to run this four times. Unfortunately, we can't get it any lower than that. Okay, so we need to get to 20. That means at least three more runs. We do that and then I need to grab the conscious. Okay. Who just made that sound? What the hell is that? A little otter friend. Thank you. Oh, he's so cute. Look at us. Okay, sorry, I'm distracted. 
So we've got enough. We only need to fight the boss four more times, get some gears and six gems. So how about we go straight to the boss? It's probably respawn now. We're spawn camping the boss. It must suck to be a boss. Imagine you get born, you have one shot in life and you're just a circle. It's kind of rough, man. So two drops, which means we still got two more to do. Let's go craft some gems. And then the last thing, because I spent <clears throat> a ridiculous amount on the book, we can buy some stuff at the shop. All right, we buy these. I'm gonna buy the pearls because I'm sorry to the crabs. Here are the gears, we buy 70. I can buy 70 of these. That's not enough. <laughs> we'll grab them anyways though. We need five more of these. We just gotta wait for the boss to respawn, I guess. In the meantime though, I can pick a weapon. Though I, I think I've already picked. To be honest, I think it has to be this purely because the elemental damage bonus is super good on elemental DPS on field unless you can proc the abilities of these two that I have, which I kind of can't do that well. Let's do the talents as well. So she needs books of justice. So it's actually, is that the same as Farina? The thing with Farina is I got capped out on how high I could take her talents because the whale boss. Oh no, don't tell me you're also the whale boss. You're the whale boss. I can, I, I already know. I I swear, it must be. Oh, they don't want me to win. Okay, well, I, I could wait, you know, a couple of days to make the video, but nah, I'm okay. I'm <laughs> just gonna record it anyway. Fine, I'll level up the other skills. I was honestly gonna go 911, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can wait that long. So I guess we just leveled the rest. Fine, fine, she can be 666. <laughs> I'm sure that the uh, the circle has respawned, contemplating its life, and we're about to go end its life. So let's pop on over there. Hey, this video is actually sponsored by nobody. Yeah, yeah, I, I know it's kind of sad. But if you wanted to support the channel for free, Mr. Editor and I would be super appreciative if you smash like and hit the sub and bell. Thank you so much, and back to the video. Hmm. <laughs> Nuvala, what do you uh, what do you think about this this uh, Vegemite on toast? Sha. Maybe that's how they say slay in uh, Fontaine. That's one more run, which leaves us with one. We just need one more. Oh. Okay, no one panic, no one panic. Lock this instantly. Four lines, really high crit rolls. E-R-E-M. Holy crap. Rap. We might as well have a look at these. So when opponents are marked with impression or defeated, framing cooldown will be decreased. This cooldown decrease can be triggered four times. That's eight seconds. And how long does this last for? 18. It's kind of long. Does one of the constellations reduce that? Nope. Energy damage, energy damage. Fine. Didn't even want your stinky talents and constellations anyway. What do these do? So after activating the special analysis zoom lens, Charlotte's framing freeze point composition hold mode cannot trigger its original effect. Instead, enables her to take photos. Special analysis zoom lens. What is the special analysis zoom lens? How do I I activate the special analysis zoom lens. Help. Hello? What does that mean? When the party contains one, two, three Fontanians other than herself, she gains healing bonus. When the party contains one, two, three non Fontanians, Charlotte gains more damage. Wait, Charlotte's a racist? Oh my god. Okay. And I don't know if I can keep building her, guys. We on this channel do not support that kind of messaging. Uh, it is convenient, though. So what did it mean by the camera thing? I googled how do I use the camera? All I got was, okay, the words I searched was first person shutter, which was the name of the ability. And I found that you need a quest. So I said quest. And the search result I got was best FPS on the meta quest. I don't think that's related. So until I figure out how to do this quest, how do I zoom? How, how do I zoom? I'm, I'm scrolling my wheel. It's not, okay, I don't think that's how you... Someone smarter than me is going to figure it out. It's probably one of the quests available out here in Fontaine. You might be thinking, Vane, why don't you go do your quest? Which, which one do you want me to do, huh? Where do you want me to start? Sumeru, perhaps? Or maybe Chasm? You want me to go back to the Chasm? You want me to do one of my 10 different story quests I haven't done? I think it's 11 now. Anyways, I'm not making it easier on myself. You guys are going to be like, whoa. It was bad enough looking at all these red exclamation marks before. Now that I know what his quests look like. I don't know if I can support this guy anymore. <laughs> Anyways, the boss is back. It's time for one last ride. And then we're going to do the artifacts. Gives me three when it doesn't matter. Gives me stinky artifacts. I'm used to it. Let's finally ascend the last ascension for... Charlotte. Holy smokes! My mind can think faster. My body has more energy. There's not a new story out there that can escape me now. What is in the these countries? Let's take a photo to commemorate I knew this it. beautiful I moment. knew it. Of course, we had to take a photo together. But also, what the hell are in these conches? I swear it's not normal. That means all that we have left are the artifacts because I do not have any constellations. And 
the whale takes a week to respawn apparently. So let's look through our options. I'm thinking this one will give us crit rate, which is pretty nice to have. If we were running freeze, we probably could also use Blizzard Strayer, which gives us a bunch of crit rate as well. Essentially, we're getting 40% crit rate, which is just insane. I don't know if I want to play freeze. I kind of want to see biggest number possible, not max DPS. This probably will realistically give you uh, some of the best DPS if you actually played her. Maybe like one animo unit, one cryo, and then one hydro, and you should be good. In terms of melt, which to be honest, there's two I want to play. There's the one where you only take pictures and you only use the normal attack. But since um I couldn't do 911 for the talents, maybe we try melt. Mm. We could try both as well. Let's start with melt. So melt, ideally we want as much crit, attack and EM as possible. In terms of EM, probably two to 300 uh, and we should be good. So, oh God, this is a lot of stuff. This is really sad. It went a lot into the flat attack. This may, oh my God, the crit rates are the max rolls. This is also pretty good. How did Xin Yang get this piece? Okay, so this piece has one, two, three, four crit rolls, two EM rolls, three attack rolls, no stats wasted. That looks pretty good. This one honestly also looks pretty good this is one two three four five crit rolls to attack but from a pure damage perspective i think this might be our best flower here same thing god that's a lot of crit we don't talk about the flight defense though i feel like i have so many leveled up artifacts from when i was playing melt ganyu okay there, there's a couple there's a couple this one four lines with em this one three lines with attack okay let's try leveling this if it rolls really well we can uh maybe just use this otherwise i might use one that we've already leveled so please go crit em okay good start i thought it went defense for a second and my heart sank so 75 percent of the time we are going to win and we just have to keep winning four more times Okay, EM is good. I will welcome EM. We we do want to melt with this particular set of artifacts. And honestly, depending how we go, oh my god. It was a pretty low crit damage roll at the start, but this one kind of made up for it. So we've got six useful stats and we can have up to eight. Depending how we go, I might not even try to go for Bolide. Bolide sounds like it would be fun, but honestly, if we have a really cracked... I don't want to talk about it. We might as well level it to the end. You could have been so beautiful. There's one stinky defense percent roll. So we've got two crit rate, three crit damage, two EM. Gives us seven damage rolls. It's pretty good. What about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the same, but percentage defense is technically higher than flat defense. So I guess we'll, I guess we'll take this one. Other than that, here we probably want attack, but it depends on how much EM we have. So we already have 160. And I feel like we might get a couple more from the roll. So let's not go for EM. Let's go for attack. I think that would be good. The wonder is attack. Do I have any good ones? It's just this. That is four to five crit rolls, I guess. Depending on how they rolled. I think that's close to the four. Okay, you know what? We might have to use an offset. Depending on if we have a good cryo goblet. Ugh. I'm sure we, we must have something, right? Cryo? Cryo damage? That's it. That's the only one we have. Okay, and this is not looking so hot. Well, good thing I said from the start that we are. Uh, we definitely want an EM sense. My coping. Oh, no, you know what? No, 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 we, we can't. We can't. We need attack. So I'm going to just take Ganyu's, which means we probably have to go with a Wanderer's set circlet as well. So what's our ratio looking like? That's a lot of crit rate. Give us the big crit damage. I want to see big numbers, okay? Crit damage, Wanderer's. Okay, that looks pretty good, to be honest. That looks like four crit rolls plus one EM, so five damage rolls this one is a little bit worse that one's a little bit worse looks like that's the one i don't know why Cole has such a good artifact piece but sure and then here we just want prior damage and my best one so this one is what one two three four four crit rolls this one is one two three four five crit rolls to attack yeah i think that might be our, our best one unless there's something else i can level mm, these other ones look a little bit cope i think we're stealing kai's piece so what does that mean for us our Charlin is now 1.9k attack, 176 EM. It's a little on the low side, I'm not gonna lie. But the ratio, I'm gonna be critting pretty often. Wait, maybe I shouldn't have gone so much crit rate. <laughs> I was talking about how I wanted to maximize my damage and not maximize my DPS, but somehow we ended up back here. ER honestly doesn't really matter because we're going to be only doing the E and the auto attacks and 46 cryo damage bonus. And that is without, without the weapon. The weapon's going to give us another 32. So we're going to go up to like almost 80 cryo damage. That's 
pretty good. You know what? It's time to test. Something I uh, I realized I haven't been doing since the Kokomi video is people were telling me to use food so that I could make Kokomi crit. I am not going to do all my testing with food, but I might do a little bit of testing with food at the end, but only after I show off how it normally is. So in terms of team comp, I guess for this one, we just go melt, right? But how do I maximize melt? Do I want Shenhe or do I want Xiangling? I guess this is the simple version. Let's uh let's try this. So this is without any food. We're gonna be let's have a look. 2k attack. Okay, so we've got the pyro resonance. Bennett's gonna give us a bunch. Does the weapon only buff us in combat? When in combat. Okay. So uh let me go claim my commissions, which apparently I did, but I kind of didn't. And uh we'll go from there. Thank you for today's commissions, which I, I definitely did do. Let me go find a boss. This one's a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. I, I have a feeling I'm gonna get knocked down, but you know what? It's the standard way. Of testing we just gotta do it so we ended up going wondrous set this is gonna give me charged attack bonus unfortunately that means i can't machine gun the clicks but let's try this one out first and then maybe i'll try a normal attack one after ideally we should swirl the cryo then swirl the pyro and i think we go from there i feel like maybe we should almost get rid of shangling i know this is gonna be a little dank because i'm gonna go over my no, you know what? We're going to try out both. I'm going to try it once with Shenhe and then once with um, Xiongling. So starting with Xiongling then. Because when I use Shenhe, that means Cryo Resonance, which is not... Is that Cryo Resistant? Are you, are you serious? Okay, whatever. Okay, we're going to hit you with this. One of these. One of these. One of these. Okay, how much damage am I doing? Please crit. 24. I'm dying. I... <clears throat> What just happened to me? Why did I, why did I explode like that? I don't, I don't understand. <sighs> okay, so with no buffs, I'm doing 69. The number's back. 6,900. You know what? I've changed my mind. I don't like this build. I don't like this build because I can't do my little little clicky clicks. I want to do this. Look at this. This is so cute. I don't want to I don't want to do whatever this is. That's not it. Okay, I, ch I changed my mind. What if I just said, you know what? Screw it. We do the same thing. I just have to stand here, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But we put Shenhe on the team. This gives me attack bonus. Okay, let's try this one again. So I would like to pick a fight with this chicken. <laughs> feels like something I can actually fight. So we do one of these. I'm doing this only because I need to swallow the right element. I, my Charlotte just fell off. Get back on the platform. Okay, she has 3.2k attack. 22, okay. Ow. Yo, 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 okay, okay. I'm on fire and the chicken does extra damage when I'm on fire. This is not part of the plan. It's all falling apart. Okay, I can do this. So I walk up to him. I say, I would like to swallow your cryo. We do one of these. We do one of these. Hold the E this time. Okay, you know what? 16,000 to 24,000, that's much more up my alley. And that's without any any of the buffs from food. But the problem is with cryo resonance, pretty sure we have way too much crit rate. Okay, we're revisiting this again. New artifacts. New me, new build. Who's this? You know what? I'm going to do Shimanawas. I've, I've just decided now. This is an executive decision. It's Shimanawa time. And I actually have really good Shimanawa pieces too. So it works out perfectly. Take a look at these. Pretty good. And we already have an onset cryo. Cryo Goblet. Wait, wait. So that means I just need max crit damage again. Whatever is my best crit damage. Cleat, I'm so sorry, sweetie, but hand this hand this over. It's my turn on the Xbox. Okay, so suddenly the build changes a lot. We're now down to 1.6k attack, but we have Bennett and Shenhe, so it should be okay. 300 EM. Damn, our crit ratio is still so high. I guess it's the weapon turbo carrying us. Okay, let's try this out. And I have 93 cryo damage bonus. Okay, I, I would like to run this one back. Let let's try again. Obviously, just to be transparent as well, I would never recommend actually using this sort of build. Uh, if I was actually actually playing DPS Charlotte, I probably would run the uh, the normal attack with some sort of shielder, uh, which is probably what I'll do after this. But I want to run this team one more time and just try it out. Okay, so non-reaction damage, 2k. I, You're not meant to die yet. You guys aren't meant to just all explode before I can even get my buffs off. I guess this is why we can't fight normal mobs. All right, you know what? We're going back to Geo Vishap. I'm not scared anymore. Maybe, maybe just a little bit, but let's try again. So maybe we drop one of these and this. I, did I just do the wrong thing? I'm not going to melt anymore, am I? Oh my god. Well, I am doing 17,000 auto attacks, so maybe it just doesn't matter. What about a charged attack? 10,000? Okay, you know what? I think maybe we need to melt, though. I do have 300 EM that is not getting used at all. Let's try this. Give me a sec to get my energy back. Also, you have cryo resist, which feels like cheating. Can you not? Okay, so let's try this. We take a picture. We swirl. This time, we Kazaha ult the, the right element. Okay, now let's try not to die. 37? 33? I died again. 
<clears throat> I got a little too excited. Sorry, I saw the big numbers and I was uh I wasn't looking at the right spot. I should be looking down below at my zero HP and not the thirty three thousand damage I'm doing. Okay, you know what? That's it. We gotta we gotta switch the ultimate build. This is the ultimate build. This is the one where you know brain no worky so good, but it doesn't even matter. So if we run this, then we put Shen Her in and. <sighs> Ideally with this, we probably want Bolide because then I'm always shielded, but maybe we can still proc this and it can work. Wait, did I not proc this buff last time? Maybe I didn't proc this buff. That might be why. You know what? It's probably still fine. Let's go find someone else. Who, ha who else have we not terrorized? Let's go find Child. He's been, um, you know, he's been stuck inside a whale or fighting a whale for a little bit. I'm sure he would like some, uh, human interaction, perhaps. I have no energy. I can't proc the Shimon hours. No, but I'm taking crazy pictures. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. Get everyone's energy back. Okay. Look at the attack speed. And I can just face tank him. Okay. This is so much better. Please don't die. Please don't die. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. We're taking pictures. 19,000. How does it feel, huh? I have every single picture of you dying. I, I lied. It was me dying. Oh my God. It's kind of embarrassing. Quick. Give her a sussy steak before he dies. You did it. It was, it was close, but you did it. <laughs> How is it that even with the unkillable team, I still managed to die? That sounds like a user error. Especially because I uh, went Shimmer now, so I can't put down the heal. Hmm, I feel like with food and Bolide, we could be stronger though. Do I want to reroll all my artifacts just for some Bolide pieces? Hmm, hmm. <laughs> sounds like a mistake, but I like mistakes. Steaks are delicious. As a bull, I would know. No, actually, no, I wouldn't know because I would never consume a steak as a bull. <clears throat> Anyways, how about I just do 30? Anything good? Ugh, ugh. It is a sign from above to stop. Ooh. Okay, maybe I keep that piece. Oh, but gambling is so fun. <laughs> what if I just, you know, just one more. Just, just, just one more. It couldn't hurt, could it? Just one more. Oh, these all suck. Oh no, these all suck. Oh God, they all suck. I've changed my ways. Gambling is wrong. Don't gamble. You know what? We're just going to have to live with this bit. Build. <laughs> but, but what would be fair is I'm going to go fight the whale. I don't know how to get to the whale. How do you get to the whale? I just, when I fought the whale last time, I just went through the book. It's underwater. Anyways, let's do it. You know, but I'm going to give myself a little bit of a cheat code. Okay, I'm going to use some food because this build is not meant to be serious. Please do not take it that seriously. Increase party damage, pyro damage, cry resist. Okay, we got it. So this, we take a little little potion and uh, we eat this one, I guess. Jade parcel. Wait, this is the booty hole to get into the, the other dimension? Well, I'm going to go try to fight a whale then. This is my revenge for it um, not being able to drop two times in a week. I have no energy. This is so rough. Why did I pick this boss? I it's in space half the time. All things are happening right now. Okay. I didn't eat my food. Eat, eat. Is that it? Is that is that every type of food people usually eat? Kill the ball. Okay, understood. I will take a picture of the ball. Okay, 10, 12, 11. What the fuck are these things? I fight this before. What? I, I guess last time I just had daddy uh, new roulette and he just blasted it. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck? Is all this? I don't think it's meant to be this hard. Quick, do my thing. 16. Wait, wait. My buffs, my buffs, my buffs. Okay. E. Shimonala's proc 20,000. Okay. Keep going, please. Keep going. No. <laughs> Why is it doing no damage now? I, um. This is kind of awkward. Well, can you give me another couple minutes? I'm um, having some performance anxiety. No, come back. Come back. Take me with you. I have abandonment issues. Come back. <laughs> picture. What are you even taking a picture of right now? Come on. Do the thing. Okay. This boss fight is way too slow. And this is with food. My food wore off. Because I died. <laughs> oh, no. Did the game just give me an achievement for taking too long? Holy. F That's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. I just want to take pictures. You don't understand. Can we be friends? Huh? You look so cool in that pose. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Okay, the, you better not put a death counter in this video, Mr. Editor. That would be very rude. You wouldn't do that, right? There was nothing to worry about. Everything is fine. We protected her smile. I don't know what you're talking about. Give me the reward, though. I know it. <laughs> I want you. I want more whale drops. Hand them over. Okay, well, that was an experience. Let's uh, go somewhere a little bit more peaceful. So now that I built Charlotte and 
<laughs> used her as a DPS. What do I think? Do I regret anything? I regret almost everything, except that she's still very cute and this animation is precious. So, you know, actually it was worth it. I, I don't actually care. <laughs> I don't know, this is just fun to do, even though I do no damage. The only one thing I'm a bit disappointed is I thought I could just, you know, zoom in and do stuff with this already, but since we have to do the story quest first or uh, some sort of special quest even, I'm a bit sad. I thought I could, you know, use these like binoculars and just zoom in and enhance all the way into that mountain. But maybe when I do figure that out, she'll be a little bit better. Definitely not a super meta character, but I had fun and hopefully you guys had fun watching as well. And that's pretty much it for today in this video. Make sure to like, sub and hit the bell if you haven't already. Make sure to check out my Twitter, Twitch or second YouTube channel if any of those interest you. And thank you again. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.